Hi, yes, it's crackpot crowdfunding time again. In this case, Kickstarter, and yes, it involves wireless power because that's the uh, just the ridiculousness of choice these days. Everyone's gone wireless power crazy, and I've debunked U Beam, of course. I've debunked that uh, what's that infrared uh, charging one. I've probably got to do a video on that Energis um, scam as well. That's uh, like. That's a publicly funded company that's just going down the toilet because it's just impractical. It's just absolute bullshit. Everything's, everyone's crazy about wireless power and they think they have the solution. Well, this one thinks they've got the solution as well. It's called the Bat Bump. Now, this is so bad. Like, this is so ridiculously, like, <laughs> obviously not possible that it, it's almost got to be a joke. I... I it, <laughs> It has to be a joke, um, because anyone who knows anything about wireless charging at all will, as we'll see, knows that this just uh, simply isn't possible. So, hey, I've done joke crowdfunders before when I tried to raise uh, $100 million to buy the F Fairfax mansion. I raised 95 bucks almost got there, um, to turn the Fairfax mansion into a hacker space. So, you know, like, obviously a joke, right? And, and this one, but if it is, okay. But, like, I, I would not be surprised if this is completely genuine, because it's just the thing to do these days, and it just, in the modern world, this would not surprise me at all that this is legit. And I've actually uh, reached out to the creator of this, uh, Kat Clark, but uh, she hasn't actually replied yet. She's actually uh, here in Sydney as well to confirm whether or not this is legit or it's a scam. Anyway, I hope it's legit because it's freaking hilarious. So let's get into it. The Bat Bump, a mobile app to share and receive phone battery. Yes, right off the bat. Anyone with any knowledge of all just goes, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Yes, it is double face palm worthy. We are BatBump. We are creating the world's first battery sharing app to share charge wirelessly. An app which can share charge between phones. No charger? No worries. She'll be right. Let's just run the ridiculous video here. Um, it's just got wanky background music. I won't. But, oh, low on battery. Oh, no charger. No worries. Search for people nearby who you can bludge some charge off. No wackers. And you find the person. Yep, I accept. Yeah, let's get together. Let's join our phones together. And we can, uh, yeah, I'll be there in two minutes. I'll meet you there. Bump. And you can <laughs> transfer charge between phones. Heck. Why not integrate the app with Tinder and you can, you know, hook up while your phones are charging? You know, there's an idea. I'll give you that one for free. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so let's, like, uh, <laughs> come on, right off the bat, I don't have to explain why this is just the dumbest thing ever to anyone who knows anything. And, of course, all the, the uh, photoshopped um, things are all fake. All the images are fake. They haven't actually developed an app yet, and they actually admit this further on. Here we go, the future of wireless charging. So you find someone nearby who's running this app, and you go, can I bludge some charge off you, please? Yeah, no worries, and you hook them up and put your phones back to back and it transfers charge. Bat Bump is the next step in the evolution of wireless charging, being able to share your battery with your social network in real time. It's not quite in the real time. You've got to meet up with them and then you've got to stand there for two hours joining your phone. <laughs> two hours? Try 200 or 2,000 hours with your phones back to back because of the piss and amount of energy you're going to be able to transfer, even if you could, which you can't, but we'll get into that. Um, bat bumping, blazing, keeping up with the times and ahead of them too. Oh, it's so ahead of itself. It doesn't exist yet, the technology to do it. We see how wireless charging has changed. We interact, smart devices, minimizing wires, wank, 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 wank. How it works! The transfer of the battery between smartphones occurs via near-field communication, NFC coils, which are built into most phones these days. This technology is currently available, and the app utilizes this technology. Current funding would be used for app development, marketing, and ongoing software updates. So give us the 30 grand they're asking for, and we'll develop this app, but it, it, it gets better. Stick around. Oh, you've got to have blockchain. 
you know, it wouldn't be a modern Kickstarter thing without blockchain technology. Because, you know, you can't just hook up with people and go, hey, can I bludge some charge off you? Um, you know, they're going to want something in return. So, well, you know, while it's charging, um, every time you battery bump someone, you can earn BB tokens. Yeah, they accumulate in your crypto wallet because, yeah, that's going to be a thing. Just add crypto and blockchain to every <laughs> Kickstarter thing. I'm surprised this is on Kickstarter. Incredible. Usually this type of trash is on Indiegogo, um, the scammer's platform of choice. But no, this is like you kind of expect, oh, it's on Kickstarter. It's, you know... It's a bit more legit, but anyway, Bat Bumper excited to join the future, and they've got a website which has absolutely nothing. Curiously, down the bottom, it's got 2015 copyright by Bat Bump. I, anyway, um, yeah, and it just links through to this uh, uh, thing. Right, uh, we predict it will go smoothly. With new and flagship models, we'll need to test the NFC charging. Well, here you go. Now, I don't have to... Um, explain to my audience, but I will for those who don't know, Near Field Communications is a power and, well, it's primarily a, da a wireless data communications thing, but yes, it can transfer power. Um, but it's designed to train uh, to passively power the target device, one of those NFC, you know, tags or whatever. Um, you do, you like when you go under the toll booth or whatever, or you, you know, you've got your NFC card in your uh, credit card or whatever, and you can, you know, um, uh, tap it and things like that. The chip on there is powered passively by the magnetic field which comes across NFC. So you can actually transfer power with NFC. But there's two problems. One is that it's extremely low power. It's in the order of milliwatts or, you know, that sort of order. Um, I believe the NFC standard like has like a maximum or something or an average uh, transmit level of 5 amps per meter. I won't go into field strength and all that sort of stuff. And even at that, it, you know, you only get like tens of milliwatts out of this thing. Um, it's, it's nothing, really. <laughs> it's useless. As far as a phone's concerned, with 5, 10 watt hour, you know, 5 watt hour battery or something, it's just ridiculous. Just run the numbers. You don't even... Anyway, the second problem is that I can't do it. Because even if you were able to passively receive that power, there's no circuitry built into phones that have NSV that would allow them to put the charge back into the battery. As piss and energy harvesting as it is, you know, you couldn't even put the tens of milliwatts back into the battery. So the technology in your phone does not exist for you to put two phones back to back with NEC and charge them. It simply does not exist. But Sony have actually patented uh, this. They've, uh, in 2017, I don't know if it was granted, and I'll link in the patent down below if you want to check it out, powering uh, devices, consumer electronics devices, via NFC. And uh, I don't think they, they just did it because, well, sometime down the future, who knows, you know, um, it, it might be a thing and they'll have a patent for it, maybe, if it gets granted. So they're just speculative patenting this thing. Um, and they don't mention at all in the pattern that I can find about any sort of power level uh, transfer. So this technology does not exist inside phones, but uh, maybe, maybe they just got it wrong. And they mean the Qi charger, which is built into, uh, you know, a what, majority of phones these days. And Qi charging is can legitimately charge phones. But if two phones have the Qi charger built in, the same problem. You can't put them back to back and transfer one to the other. One needs to be have the transmission circuitry and the transmission coil because the transmission coils are usually uh, thicker and they've got to have better magnetics in them to form the resonant you know, circuit for more efficient uh, power transfer. I won't go into all the uh, details, but they're not built into the phones. The phones are just Qi power uh, wireless charging receivers. They can't actually transmit that to anything else. Um, so it, it, it's just, it, it, both NFC and Qi charging is, just cannot be done. So yeah, neither of those technologies actually exist. And here's the interesting thing, right? They've had this, they've been running this for like, um, I don't know how many days have they been running it? I'm not sure when it started. But anyway, they didn't update because they couldn't change their uh, main campaign. Batbump are developing an app. The technology aspect regarding the transfer of battery would be purchased from a company and or persons who already have developed the technology. We will not be, de not be developing this technology ourselves nor utilizing any technology with 
in the app without permission. The current funding will be used to have the shell of the app developed. <laughs> Ready for the technology to be integrated when and if it is available. So they admit that uh, give us 30 grand and we'll write this app, which, uh, which we are telling you does absolutely nothing because the technology is not built into the phones to do it. And they're just telling you this in an update. The video and creative skills are to give a story and creative skills are to give a storyboard of how the app technology would work together once it is available, once it is integrated alongside BatBump. This is our research and development phase and we thank and appreciate our backers' patience and support. <laughs> oh my goodness. They are asking 30 grand to develop. It, it's got to be a joke, right? Now here's the interesting thing. It's, it's done by Kat Clark. She's in Hid Sydney here. She's a producer and creative. I spent six years coming from an event and marketing background, extensive knowledge, understanding branding and production, and currently a series producer for a television show airing on Channel 9. Kat has produced content for clients such as Samsung, Vodafone. There's the phone um, tie-in. So are Channel 9 doing a reality TV show about people reacting? to Kickstarter React, <laughs> crowdfunding React, to bogus Kickstarters. In that case, hi, I'm Dave Jones from the EEV blog. Check out my channel, youtube.com slash EEV blog or evblog.com. No worries. Um, I, it's got to be a joke. Right, anyway, as I said, I reached out to her to see if this is legit and she hasn't gotten back to me yet. But I hope, I hope it's legit because this is hilarious. I would totally believe this is a legit thing in today's world. And they've already raised 329 bucks. Um, I, yeah, who knows? You know, people are dumb enough to back this. And they might, what do they do if they get their 30 grand goal? You know, if it's a joke and they don't reach their goal, no one gets charged. And eh, it's all funny, but, you know, I unbelievable anyway i don't need to say anything more this is just like the dumbest idea ever if this is legit um wow <laughs> the balls it takes to ask for 30 grand if it's legit and then just admit oh yeah no we're not actually going to do anything um you know like we're just going to develop the shell of an app which won't work until such time as you <laughs> The technology comes along in your phone to do it. It's just the dumbest thing ever. Anyway, I... Come on. Please be real. Please be real. Anyway, wireless charging. It's all a thing, and it's just ridiculous. Everyone thinks they're going to crack the wireless charging thing. Anyway, that's a good laugh. Hope you enjoyed it, and as always, discuss down below. Catch you next time.